Hello there Islanders and welcome to another stream. Uh, my name is Adam Snowgrove, I'm the community manager and social media manager for Islands and also its dedicated streamer. Uh, so, welcome back. Uh, last week we had a Halloween episode which was loads of fun, but today I'm dressed a bit more normally uh, than, than even usually. Uh, but if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out, we had loads of fun there uh, and we also played uh, Lockford Horror number two and i oh hello uh, hello crystal how are you doing uh good to see you here uh, hello marcy uh no no tea today though i might have a tea break in the middle uh so i might get some tea in the middle so uh, at least something to look forward to hey spyler oh you got your popcorn good very good uh right so i did um i did promise that we're going to finish lockford horror part two on today's episode so we'll start with that i also promised that i would get myself to the same place that we were last time i, I nearly managed it <laughs> but not quite completely uh, because um i keep dying <laughs> yeah, I i'll put the audio down a little bit there we are if the audio is not enough or too much, do let me know in the chat. So yes, I uh, in this cave, I, I'm, I'm fine up to up until this point, but this cave has a jumping sequence, and which I've managed fine when we uh, went through it the first time together. Uh, but of course now I can't do it. <laughs> I've done it twice already, died twice, and unfortunately it. It throws you back to the beginning when you when you die. So hopefully this time, um, three is the charm, right? Uh, we'll manage and we'll get to see what else Lockford hides from us. Uh, again, the ghosts, they're really cool. And they sometimes just pop up and, and it, it is a quite, quite a scare when they do. Uh, I, I kill this one very nonchalantly, but uh, uh, usually I, I do get a bit of a scare. Okay, so this is it. I think the left one is easier. But I always fail at the end. So here's hoping. <sighs> okay. Second to last. Now. Ooh. Oh, hello, Mello. Okay, yeah, see you in a few minutes. Hopefully I'll be over this chasm when you when you come back. Uh, hopefully, I'll manage to jump this one. Come on! Yes! Good, okay. So, that's that's a stone off of my heart. That really was getting frustrating because it, it was sticking to the uh, start of the stream. I was thinking, okay, okay, I'll just quickly quickly get back to where I was. I know the codes from last time to, to the puzzle, so that's fine. And that... Oh, 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 okay. I forgot this one's here. Oh, no, no. Oh, there's two of them as well. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there's three. You're kidding me. Oh, no. Don't tell me that after getting over that terrible hole, we're going to die to ghosts. Oh, phew. Okay, that was... Stressful. <laughs> but we manage. Good, good, good. Oh, hello, Azaren. Lovely to see you. Let's have a look in this side passage. I don't actually remember. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember this. I remember this guy. Yeah, he's a madman. <laughs> He'll try and punch us in the face. So let's, let's not visit him again. See, we're already wiser just by playing it a bit. Okay, so after our encounter... We can't really take any chances, right? We did get these silver bullets from a uh, uh, in last stream. Uh, you probably saw it for our regular viewers uh, that we got these silver bullets from a um, some kind of friend of ours. But it is a bit mysterious how he keeps popping up in these places. Okay, and this is where we finished last time. So I have no idea what happens now. Um, and uh, there is, though, a mysterious mansion on the horizon there. So we'll try and explore that. It'd be very anticlimactic if it now said, OK, and it's the end. 
<laughs> look for some part three. And I would just spend the last half an hour trying to get here. <laughs> Ooh, there's a cool bridge. Caution, take care on this bridge. It's very old. Uh-oh. I hope I don't drop in. Okay. <laughs> that was unexpected. That was scary. Oh, God. That was really good. Oh, look at the fish. Very nice. Yeah, that... <laughs> <laughs> My heart dropped <laughs> when we when we actually dropped. <laughs> okay, so I guess we have to swim swim around. I love the fish. And look at it, the moonlight. The 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 ambiance now of the of the light and the water is is excellent. Definitely an improvement. Uh oh. Is that a looks like a waterfall. I wonder if we'll manage to Somehow get up. There's some logs on the left there. Possibly could. Is there anything here that we might find useful? There's like a raft here. But it's already sunken. I like the flowing effect going. Okay, yeah, I think we can get up here past the logs. Phew. Okay, so hopefully. Oh, 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 oh. This dead tree looks frail. Will you push it? You betcha. That was such a cool detour, right? Just like we had the mansion. I might have to jump to reach the other side. Oof. Okay, I did. <laughs> Let's pretend that I jumped very professionally over that, that small. Small gap. Yeah, yeah, so, so we had the mansion just on site and then drop and we had to go around. That was that was a nice, nice touch. Okay, let's have a look if there's anything here that we might use on our travels, but I think probably not. Right, so now we enter the scary mansion. Okay. Do I have everything reloaded? Should I should I maybe heal myself? I only have one aloe vera poultice. And it seems a I don't have the aloe vera poultice. Oh my, did I use it earlier? I probably did. Okay, so that's at least answers the question. We won't we won't heal ourselves. <laughs> the story continues. Ooh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so it did end. <laughs> so we got to the to the scary mansion. And uh, now we have to wait for part three. But I do hear that part three is uh, on the horizon. And it's going to be made for the competition. And I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be really cool. Okay, so we, we finished this... Uh, rather quickly, uh, a bit more quickly than I anticipated, but that's fine. We do have a lot to look at uh, today because, again, uh, we've got some uh, cool updates to the competition. Uh, there's, in fact, there are, in fact, three games or two games, maybe two games uh, that I wanted to check out today. Um, yes. So, first off, I wanted to have a look at Guardian Spirits uh, because we played that last time, but I did get stuck a bit uh, in, uh, in a maze, obviously, that's what I do. Um, but there were some improvements done, and the maze was simplified, apparently. Oh, hello, Oknog, very nice to see you. Uh, yes, the maze was simplified, uh, apparently. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, get through it. And uh, I even uh, talked to Yuka today and um, uh, she told me that she's going to uh, upload a, uh, a, the newest version just for us so we can get to see it in the stream. And there's even some achievements to unlock and uh, we'll try and do that. 
Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah, so it's it's kind of a, like a puzzle RPG experience, and it looks really, really cool. I know, Marcy, achievements. It is very exciting. And there's like nine achievements to do. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, to see how these achievements even look. Oh, you can see them on the on the left there. Um, so let's press J. Uh, we don't have any achievements yet, so nothing appears. But that's where our achievements will appear when we receive them. Hopefully, if we receive them, if we manage to. Okay, so... This was a very nice, nice way to start it. We light the brazier. Adventurer, welcome to the realm of Dalvani. We, the, oh, this is, I, I forget, this is really quick. We are needed of a hero like you. We beg to liberate of the golem threat to destroy their king. Okay. <laughs> Prove yourself worthy of our hopes in the white halls and arm yourself to defeat the monsters. Phew. Kindle the light of our people. Yes. Yes, I shall. Okay, so let's try... Oh, ooh, what is that? I wonder if that's already like implemented into the game or if that's just a kind of workshop. But I see like a cool portal there at the top. Hmm, might, might have to explore it later on. <laughs> yes, there, there there will be twenty. I'm told, <laughs> but right now I think implemented there's uh, there's nine. Okay, so yes, let's do the maze. Apparently simplified, so we should be able to finish it this time. Yeah, because last time also uh, you could also uh, put in bigger gaps between the walls because last time oh here we go first now it took us at least five minutes to find the first torch last time and it was very painful so this is a much a much bigger improvement for us um yeah you can also put the gaps between the walls bigger because last time the the camera went all wonky a bit like this if i like stood here and, and this kept happening so so yeah this this is definitely an improvement i love that love that you did that Okay, so are we now at the beginning? I, I, I tried to backtrack, but my my navigational uh, brain already shut off the first three steps I took. Okay, we, we do have a second torch, but I have absolutely no idea where we are. <laughs> Like, where, where where was the entrance? I thought it was here. Ah, oh, I'm already lost. Oh, ooh, there's, there's a staircase. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that wasn't here before. Or maybe it was, and we just never found it. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. So we already have three. That's pretty good. Definitely an improvement. All right. Oh, <laughs> dead end. Nice one. I've been played. Oh, another dead end. Played again. Okay. Okay. Do you think these flints are like breadcrumbs that maybe it leads us? Yes, they are. Okay. Maybe that was in the last one as well. And I just never noticed it. And that's why we never found all those torches. So it was me all along. Okay, this was the dead end. I remember this. No, this was the dead end. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. So, this way. Yes. <laughs> oh, ha oh, hello, Jacob. Nice to have you here. Yes, hello, hello. Nice to have you back. <laughs> uh, we are trying to find the... Okay, so we're at the beginning. We're trying to find the fifth torch. And we're very excited that there are loads of achievements in this game that have been implemented in the last few days uh, and a version was uploaded just for us to check out and um, to show off on the stream so that's all pretty exciting and I'm just coming back to all my torches and uh, just having a look at my handiwork how, how well I, I lit them just a few minutes ago okay so we've been here we came this way right we came from here, right? But maybe we missed a torch somewhere around here. No, no, no. We didn't miss it. We actually already <laughs> lightened it when we were here last. 
Okay, 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 okay. So here's some, here's some flint. No, we've already been here. Okay, so in that case, that tells me, my navigational senses tell me that the last one has to be in like this corner here somewhere. And if anyone with a comp, oh God. Nope. <laughs> That's a big no. Am I just returning to the one we already did? I hope not. I just think it has to be like deeper this way. Uh, I, I would hate uh, to fail Yuka again after my last blunder where we spent like 10 minutes in this whole thing and we couldn't find. I think we found one torch, maybe two. Oh no, this is also isn't good because I think Okay, I might even... Oh, here we are! Here we are! Yes! The fifth torch. Nice. And just in time, because it's getting dark. Oh! Oh! It all disappeared. That's fancy. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Let me just try and remember <laughs> the location of those five. If we ever, ever come and do it again. So there's like two on the left, two down the middle, one up the stairs. Okay, that's cool. You have succeeded where all others have failed. Take your reward and... Okay, so I have two, <laughs> two maybe ideas for you, Cap, um, to improve. And this, this is still better. This is, uh, this is still work in progress. So it might be changed in, a, 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 in the long run. But yeah, the text would be nice to have longer. I have to buy you a navigation for your birthday, Adam. Yes, I, maybe, I, maybe you can integrate Google Maps into this game somehow. Maybe I, I'll ask Alish if he can do that for me. Uh, I, I could really use that. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, one thing. Okay, we got the Guardian armor boots. That's cool. One thing I'd say would have the, um, to have the text uh, appear longer so you could really read it. And the other thing, that maybe that's on purpose, but maybe I'd put the day to be um uh, to be non-ending to have daylight the whole time i don't know what do you think do you think um it's nicer when when there's the day cycle or or should there be just an infinite day or maybe even an infinite night i just know that last time when we were doing that maze and uh darkness fell because we took so long it became very difficult to navigate it was even worse <laughs> than uh, then just powered by my bad navigation. Oh, is it? Oh, good. Oh, lovely. Okay, good. So my sound is really good. So I'm glad. Uh, yeah, we did play around. Uh, hopefully you should now hear me in stereo. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. But yeah, not too dark, but day passing by. Yeah, I guess. Maybe if you got like, um... A torch to carry around with you. Yeah. Hey, spirit. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Lovely to have you here. Okay, so let's do the next task. You cannot turn back once you enter. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Defeat the enemies. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Wolf, 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 wolf. We can, we can, we can, we can take down a wolf. Yes, nice. Okay, so that was the first one. Oh, yes, yes, it is the all stars of islands here on today's stream. So lovely to have you here. Okay, mutant. We can, we can. I have to time it right. Okay, and last one. What is this going to be? So we had a normal wolf, a mutant wolf. Maybe a golem? Oh, I hate it to be a golem. Those are tough. No, no, no. So, oh, this is the alpha. The brute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's tough as well. Oh, no. One more hit and we're done. Oh. Phew. That was lucky. We're nearly gone as there. I wonder what happens if you die here. Probably throws you at the back. You have succeeded. Well, others have failed. Take your mm, award, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but we need to heal, yes, heal ourselves at some point as well. This is getting a bit d dangerous. Okay, let's take... Oh no, a Hawaiian pizza, really? That that shouldn't even have been included in the game. What a, that's just wrong. 
Okay, so I think this is the furthest we've got so far because last time we did the we did the enemies and uh, we did the maze uh, and well we didn't do the maze <laughs> because I got lost. So these are com these are completely unknown to me. I have no idea what 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 we're going to do. Oh, oh yeah, I did see this in the forums though. I think this is like the jumping puzzle one. Find your way to the top. Oh nice. Okay. So as we have seen in our Lockford Horror <laughs> playthrough that we just done, uh, jumping isn't my strong suit. But then again, as I said before, I do keep making an awful amount of excuses to myself for myself <laughs> on these streams. I should own up. I, I should be good at something, definitely. I'm not bad at combat. I think I'm not that bad at combat. Oh, okay, so I thought we had to get there, but it's actually way up there. Oh, no, it's even way up there. Okay. And it gets quicker as well. That's cool. This is a very nice platformer. I like this. Pineapple pizza is amazing. What? Marcy can't even eat pizza. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, good morning, Valor. Nice to have you here. Glad you could join. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh, that was that was scary. It's funny how suddenly the perspective, it seems you're not going as fast uh, as it's going here, right? This looks much faster than when you're standing on it. <laughs> That's true. Yes, I, I do have a, a bad habit of, of ordering the wrong pizza. Okay, so will we be able to... No, we won't be able to jump up there, right? No, I think we have to... Yeah, Jacob, I think you're right. P pineapple on pizza. It's, it's nearly like having, like, I don't know, Nutella on pizza. It's just wrong. It, Nutella's good, pineapple's good, but you don't put it on a pizza. Come on. Okay, so stone button, switch. Nice! Okay, so we manage that. We manage it. It's okay, we're good. Oh, right, we have to get down as well. <laughs> that's a bit worse. That's, that's not so good. Okay, this, this, this might be easier than I thought. Getting down, I mean, not getting up. That was quite tough. Maybe if I jump up here, will I die? No, 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 good, 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 good. Right, nice. So that's another challenge done. Where are those achievements, Marcy? Where are they, hey? Take your reward and arm yourself. Will do. I'm sure we should have an achievement by now, right? Oh, we've got a propeller pack. Nice. Oh, okay. So now we can get up here much easier. Nice. That's good. Good to have. Uh, the achievements. So, um, we do have the list here by pressing J. But we actually haven't, uh, we didn't get any achievements yet. But let me just have a quick look because I did get a bit of a sneak peek into the achievements by Yuka. Um, so I'll just have a quick look at the list that she sent me just to see what kind of achievements there are. Uh, you can't see it now because I've got it on my, my other side of the, of the monitor. But I'll read them out to you, uh, at least a few of them. So, if you light the three golden braziers, I don't know how to sp say that. Last one will only spawn if the final boss is defeated. Okay, so we have to we have to defeat the final boss and then light the three golden braziers. That's one achievement. Uh, to you, we, when we use the pink portal on top of the little mountain. Okay, so that's what we saw uh, at the beginning when we looked around. There was like this mountain with like a weird pink portal. So if we use that pink portal, um, we'll get an achievement. Uh, if we pick up the staff in front of the other portal, uh, other pink portal, we get an achievement. So there's two pink portals. That's cool. If we meet the creator, um, she's hanging out somewhere close to the houses. Uh, if we defeat the goat man, we haven't seen this one yet. If we die ten times, <laughs> we should get an achievement. We should be able to do that, right? Um, and there's a few other ones, quite cool ones. Um, but it seems most of them are at the, at the mountain. So 
we'll try and get to that mountain um, after we finish up here. Then maybe that's like the reward that when we finish all the all the different tasks, we get to go to the mountain. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But we now have our fourth puzzle. So let's get to it. Okay, 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 okay. The creator should put a list of hints to get the achievements. Yeah, might be a good idea. Might be a good idea. Maybe even just like vague names to the achievements, right? If you if you open J and you'd have them like uh, not filled in and you'd have just the, uh, just the name of the achievement. And then after you complete it, you might get a description to the achievement. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Okay, so again, we cannot turn back after we enter this arena. Test your luck and fight the, find the right combination. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, this won't go well. Um, nope. 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 <laughs> yeah, Mello, I, this, these are really punishing for me, aren't they? Okay, what am I what am I looking for? Is something happening up there? No, I'm not seeing. No. Something above me? I'm not sure. I tried all of them, right? Okay, so yeah, yeah, this one? I, I missed this one? Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. O okay, 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 okay. We got the first one. No. Okay, so this one is the first one. <laughs> I wonder if there's any, like, if it is a real puzzle. Okay, so we've got two. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we got three. Do you think there's any pattern to it? So it's the bottom one, then to the right, then at the middle of the top. Bottom one, maybe it will be a triangle? No. <laughs> An arrow. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. But that means this one with the next one and then go down. But OK, so OK, so it's the bottom here, here and here. Oh, I finished it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Oh, hello, Johas. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you here. OK, so we managed this puzzle. Um, and I think that's a fourth. So that means that we get to fight the boss and we should have all the equipment necessary to defeat him, hopefully. Yeah, we've got the Guardian armor. So we should be pretty much armored up. And we've got the Zirconium sword, and that's a good sword. So I think we should be fine. Well, fine. It'll still be a very difficult fight. Helmet, I know, right? Yeah, famous last words. <laughs> they are. Yeah, I, I, I would have thought we'd get the helmet, but no, we got the, we got the trousers, we got the armor, uh, we got the, um, um, the backpack, and we got uh, the shoes. So that's four, and we did four puzzles. So checks out. So here we go. Oh, okay. Sure, let's go. Let's go for it. Defeat the golems and repair the sword. Right. We can do that. So, am I being a bit of a cheat? But can you just like... Okay, this is a broken sword. The magic inside the sword is depleted. You need to find a way to refill it. Oh, I guess though. We never tried this. But in fact, it may be possible just to 
just to do some of the puzzles and then can write uh, come right here so because now i've got the uh, i've got the propeller pack but there's this like jumping part to it so i guess we didn't have to do the propeller pack puzzle and we could have still come here and try and, and try and finish it I, I even i'm a bit tempted to just try and do it anyway because it's it looks like a really cool jumping platformer puzzle okay let's just try how we do if we didn't have the propeller pack right coconut helmet is the last prize <laughs> that would be nice <laughs> we've got the coconut helmet and the banana musket right <laughs> oh no I'm, I'm going to keep turning on the propeller pack defeat the golems and repair the sword oh i know i know i've been told already well the pack makes it easier to do this yes 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 but I thought I'd try the the platform anyway because it looks really cool and I love how it's moving around and it's really unpredictable. I wonder where. Okay, here. Oh, 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 oh! That was lucky. That was lucky. Nearly fell down there. Uh, am I doing this right? No, 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 no! I know, I know. Oh, oh no! Ooh, nearly died there. Okay, okay. It's a cool platformer. You can <laughs> you can do it uh, if you like. Uh, you don't need the propeller pack to finish this uh, <laughs> uh, this game. But let's not do it now <laughs> because we'll be here forever. Okay, so let's try out these stone buttons though. Oh yeah, this would have been really difficult to get up here without the propeller pack. That is really cool. But the options there, which I like. Okay, let's try just like getting over here at least. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yes. Cool. Okay, so he pressed all the four wolves. Did that. Repair. Oh, no, that opened the doors. The magic inside the sword is depleted. You need to find a way to refill it. I think the edge of the trigger zone for the instructions need to be moved over a bit so you don't get the instructions so many times. Yep, yeah, yeah, probably, probably. Come on, I remember your Super Mario skills. I have no Super Mario skills. I've got some Prince of Arabia skills. Prince of Persia, not Arabia. Nearly, got it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we have to find a way to um, repair that sword. Ay, 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 and there's loads of golems. I don't like golems. Okay, let's do this one first. Can we close the door? Yeah, I don't need to see you there. I don't need to see you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. Nice. Oh, magic dust. Bet you that will help us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prince of Asia. We, we, didn't, uh, uh, we didn't play it on a Commodore, but uh, at our school we had like this... Um, waiting area where we waited for our parents to get us after school and we had this really old computer there and there was prince of persia then there was like a a caveman platformer game that was a blatant advertisement for mcdonald's uh, and that you had to like kill uh, defeat dinosaurs and uh, like fries will would uh, <laughs> drop out of them and stuff like that. It was really weird. But yeah, that was on there. And then there was like this really old uh, racing game with these old pixelated Formula Ones. And that was so much fun. But yeah, we, we played... Oh, and Train, which was like a snake adaptation where you had to collect fruit <laughs> yeah but but we played loads of prince of persia on that old computer that was loads of fun okay well, i'm not going to defeat him with a pizza they might run away if you saw a hawaiian pizza i would i wouldn't i'm not such a snob i'd still eat a hawaiian pizza but i don't prefer it that's all burger time could have been burger time yeah I think it was called, like, Caveman 2. They, they, they made a second one. That's the scary thing. <laughs> there, there was even a first one. Ooh. Lucky we've got the Guardian Armor. That really does help. And I think we... Don't we get a bonus when we have... Or do we have to have the helmet for, for the bonus to take effect? Let me have a look. Heavy Armor full set. Protection 64. We've got 19 on here. 19 on here. 9 on here. 
but I think we would need the um, uh, the helmet for the for the bonus. Joust. I I don't remember Joust. Oh, that had to me miss me probably. We didn't have a big selection of games. Oh, th these golems don't have a chance with my with my cool guardian armor. Okay, so we defeated them. Oh, it's very hot, very hot. Oh, you are now ready to face a golem king. There's a golem king. <laughs> oh no, I thought I was it. And we still don't have enough mag magic. I guess the magic powder won't help us, right? I think we'll have to destroy the golden king. Oh, no, no, no. So we collect the magic crystal. Magic fills your body. And we get the mythical sword of Tharkisius. I'm sure I'm reading that wrong. Of Tharkisius. That's cool. Oh, that and that's much more powerful. Uh, Cubert. Yes, I do remember that one. That was loads of fun. It was like this little two-legged... Um, slime thing <laughs> jumping on uh, on a pyramid that was that was a really good game uh, I like the sword repair bit yeah yeah that was very nice wasn't it and we had to get the, the magic I, I wonder if we were able to get the magic um, crystal without the jetpack like I guess if you jumped here but that, then that would nearly kill you right so you probably do need a jetpack to get the magic magic sword. Okay, so we've got... I want to read it again because that's a cool name. The Mythical Sword of Tharsisius. Of Tharsisius. Okay, Mythical Sword of Tharsisius. Okay, remember that, Adam. Okay, bring on Colum King. Yes. Okay, I guess he's up there. Let's fly up there. So yeah, we do need the uh, jetpack in the end. Oh, there's a nice little sitting area up here. <laughs> That's cool. I'm relaxed already. <laughs> That's very nice. That's a very nice touch. I love it. Okay. A little bit of Zen moment, yes. And let's get going on this golem guy. Okay, he looks dangerous. Um, could we cheese this and just like... That's the trouble with... Um, with the um, uh, propeller pack. It does break uh, some uh, some enemies a bit. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh, 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 okay. He can do damage, quite a lot of damage, even through the guardian armor. Oh, there's another one. He's got many forms. That wasn't even his final form. <laughs> nice. Oh, no. That's more. I actually thought that was the last one. Okay. Crystal Golem. Sure. That has to be the last one, right? Whew. Nice. I love that. That was so cool. The many forms. Oh, that was really cool. That's good. Um, I'd, even, I'd even put uh, put in more... For him to be even more... Um, more difficult to kill or not even difficult to kill but to, uh, to do more damage um but that's it's such a cool idea for the for the forms nice so we've got the crown of prisk let's put that bad boy on look how fancy we now look beautiful look at that and it seems like we've got the golden brazier. I still don't know how to say that. I have to research how to say brazier. Br 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 brazier, I guess, maybe. Nice. Yeah, 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 we managed it. We managed it, guys. So, we've got a portal now. But this isn't all. Uh, because there's still that, um, that mountain. Oh, here we are. This is it. So, yeah. So, it was like kind of a prize. I guess in the future, we've got an achievement. We have a first achievement. Let all the sacred braziers. That word is haunting me. So there we are. Our first achievement. First out of 20, guys.
Cool. That's really good. Yeah, so I guess in like the finished form, this will be hidden um, from the main part of the game. Oh, look at here. <laughs> it's a bit weird. To oh, this is a goat man. So this is another achievement. So let's take our mythical sword on this guy. Oh, nice. Save the villager from the goat man. Cool. There you go. Hello, villagers. Why am I in the woods? <laughs> uh, so I guess this will be then in the in the woods. But that's really cool. Why am I in the woods? <laughs> they could at least say thank you, right? Yes. <laughs> 19 left. I guess maybe the the... Because it seems this will all be implemented in like a larger world. So even like killing the goat man will be more of a difficult... Um, there's our another achievement. Meet the creator. So this is Yucha, our, our creator. Hello. So that's good. So yes, I guess these will be more uh, hidden around the world and you'll have the chance to find them. This also seems like it will then later be part of a, uh, a bigger map. Oh. <laughs> I guess we were supposed to be on that thing <laughs> before it started moving. That's a cool elevator. That's nice. Oh, nice. It is like kind of like some kind of lab. I guess this might be then in like a this might be a tower in the middle of the wilderness that you can find. Change the UI. Very interesting. Uh, that is that is cool, isn't it? Yes, I I know. I know that braziers, right? Braziers? But that sounds like Fraser. Oh, this is driving me nuts. Wait a minute. Let me just have a quick look. <laughs> and braziers. <laughs> there we are. We cheated a little bit, but it's braziers. Good, good. That's a load of my mind. So let's change the UI. Blue gradient, paper page, or green electricity. Let's go with green electricity. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nice. That's, that's neat. That's cool. Let's go blue gradient. And look, uh, the achievements are just coming in. We now have four already. That's really cool. So what else can we find here in this? Extremely hot. Why are you hot? Oh, <laughs> that was a bit weird. Let's take some. You can never have enough aloe vera. Oh, that's a nice little sitting area. So that's cool. You can change the UI. What else do we have here? A little house here, big wooden door. Oh, another computer, which we can pick up. You can maybe make these. Oh, nice. A secret door. Maybe it wasn't secret. But <laughs> I feel special anyway. Nice kitchen counter. Oh, there's a pigment jar. Mm. Oh, nothing in it. That's nice. Maybe there'll be more to do once it's all finished. We don't want to sit on the latrine. Not yet. This is a cool, little cool living area. A cute cat. Nice. Yeah, but this all looks like it will get implemented into a wider, wider game. Uh, let's light it up. I again forgot how to call it. Bra 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 brazier, brazier. There we are. Okay, let's have a look. What what else we can find here? Wooden door. Oh, that's nice. A little like uh, toy area. Mines of Fandelva. To-do list. Let's have a look what what's on the to-do list. Kill Flagella, Connor and Vague. <laughs> uh, that's a very... Um, <laughs> uh, a a to-do list you wouldn't want the police to find, definitely. Okay, so Flag Flagella. Let's have a look what... Flagler's up to. Oh, 
oh i oh i guess this is like a dnd board or something because these look like heroes on a map cray 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 <laughs> nice monster manual yeah, yeah oh yeah this is a dnd board you've got the monster um the the dm uh what do you call it uh cover not cover um Ah, the word word escapes me. 101 ways to murder players. <laughs> that strikes way too close to hard to heart. Rocks fall. <laughs> That's a good one. Just just throw a ton of bricks on them. Mines of Fandelva. Let's have a look at Mines of Fandelva. Oh, you can't you can't read it. It's a map. A blank sheet of paper. We got some dice. That's that's a nice little touch. The dice. Uh, DM screen, that's what it's called. Yeah, and we've got the player's handbook. We've got the dungeon master's guide. And we've got the monster manual. I always like the monster manual. That's the best best book out of them. Let's, let's have a look if there's anything in the monster manual. Oh, nice. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's American cookery. <laughs> Fair enough. That'd be cool if there was the actual monster manual here. But also wouldn't be cool to then get sued by the Wizards of the Coast <laughs> for putting the Monster Manual into her game in Ireland. So, d don't do that, probably. Don't do that. Let's take all of these guys. Let's let's read um, what Connor is up to. Angry Magic Meanie. <laughs> all magic users are mean. You never get, like, a, ni a, a nice magic user. Dope Water Boy. Cool. They're always, because they're magical. Why would they be nice to people? They don't have to be. More puzzles, needed dice. Well, we can cook monsters. <laughs> That's true. You can, a lot of the monsters in D&D, I think, would be uh, great dishes. Like all the huge crabs. Yeah, crab people are tasty with butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, precisely. That's what I just wanted to say. Uh, and merfolk. I'm sure you could eat merfolk. Um, though, yeah, I think, and they have tridents. Uh, you don't really want your food to be too well equipped. A medieval banner. Cool. Oh, it moves around as well. Oh, that's nice. Oh, cool. That's nice. So I guess this is where the DM sleeps. Oh, read? Oh, no, that's what we have in our hands. Oh, you're hungry again. Well, I guess you'll have to eat your last Hawaiian pizza, won't you? He already ate three whole pizzas. Okay, so this is the portal that we saw in the achievements. So let's try it out. A strange crystal. Examine. Oh, and off we go. And here's the second portal. Nice. And we get the crystal staff. Found a cool walking stick. <laughs> Oh, and there's even the um, the symbols are well well chosen as well. Awakened in a strange place, saved villagers from the goat man, met the creator, changed using the interface, lit all the sacred braziers, and found cool walking stick. So, what else? Uh, what other um, uh, achievements did we miss? Um, Use pink portal. We did that. Meet the creator. Yes. Meditate on top of the five arenas. Oh, meditate on top of the five arenas. Uh, die ten times. Well, we're too good for that. Play D and D in the greenhouse. Sit in one of the chairs. Oh, we didn't do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's play D and D. So, I guess we can use the portal again to get back. Nice fast travel. So I was right, yeah, it was D&D. &D. Well, it was quite kind of obvious with the monster manual and everything. Uh, position's not... Cool! Play D&D. &D. You enjoy a nice game of D&D &D with your friends. Ah, I wish I could right now. And then we can't meet, and that's fine. We need to keep safe. That's the important thing. Cool. So that's another, another achievement met. And then there was something with the cat as well. So let's just check that one out quickly. I guess it was the one inside here. Oh, we can pet it. You pet the cat. It's very cute. Ah, cute. 
so I think that's all of the achievements um, because then we only have to die 10 times and meditate on top of the five arenas we didn't do that one I'm, I'm, I wonder how how we do that in fact oh what's that over there as well we haven't been there yet right let's check that out as well let me just okay here we go yeah Oh, I can't. I lost your chat there for a minute. Let me get it back up. You sat on one of the rings. I know, yeah, yeah. I thought that would be it, but I didn't get the... I don't have the achievement, right? So maybe you have to go way up top there, or maybe on the main, the end boss arena building. You feel a shiver come over you. Oh, I, I didn't... Again, I didn't manage to read it all. Hmm. A shiver come over to you. Maybe you should, I guess, not be here. <laughs> oh, there's some kind of creepy potion here. Invincibility potion. Grants invisibility buff for 15 seconds. That's cool. That's nice. And, and in the end game, if that's somewhere hidden, that's going to be really nice. I'm really looking forward to how this game is going to flesh out because there's loads of really cool... Um, really cool elements to it already uh like we've got the whole puzzle thing of uh doing the those four buildings the maze the uh jumping on the platforms the killing the the golems part then fighting the king golem is really cool and if you if you put that into and then we've got all of those the portal the um the um, the D&D room at the laboratory, which we're not really sure where you can change the UI right now, but it probably will have more more functions later on as well. So there's lots of stuff already here, and all it really needs is to be put into, into a map, into a game. Do we even have a look at this golden chest? Yeah, yeah, we, we picked that. So I wonder... Where are we supposed to meditate? Maybe we're supposed to meditate over there. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, so let's let's check out. Take some time for yourself. Oh, so do you think we have to sit on actually all of the arenas to get the achievement? That'd be cool. Nice. Okay, so that's cool. That's good. Thank you, Oknog. So, close your eyes and think of your favorite smell. I wonder what, what is my favorite smell. That's when my fiance is baking something. That's that's always a nice smell. Or bacon, but that's an obvious one. Look at the clouds and pick your favorite one. Hmm. I wonder which one. I like that one, like, in the middle. The one that's behind the plinth right now. It looks a bit like a spaceship. But all clouds are pretty. They all look like fluffy sheep. And last one, I think. <laughs> yes. Mmm, bacon. Yes. Take a breath. Enjoy my moment. Yeah, I am enjoying it. Mainly because I have nine achievements. Now we just have to die ten times, but uh, I'm not really... <laughs> I don't want to be now just jumping off of buildings for, for five minutes to get the last achievement. But there you go. So that that's uh, quite a huge, uh, huge step forward. Uh, so the four, the four puzzles are really fun right now. I think those are pretty much ready. Uh, the only thing... What was it we said? Um, the day and night cycle. But if it's going to be a whole world, a whole game, then a day and night cycle would be great. Uh, I was more thinking in the terms of just like having this puzzle arena, then maybe you could have constant light or uh, or at least have like a light source that you could then use, for instance, in the labyrinth uh, when when night falls. And the other thing was... Oh, the King Golem could be a bit tougher, I guess. A bit. Um, 
There's one more thing that we were talking about. Yeah, can't think of it right now. But yeah, but this is awesome. I'm, I'm already loving it so much. I'm really looking forward to when all of this gets put into a game of some sort. Very cool. Okay, so let's head out and let's try something else. Because there's a new game in town. Uh, that I wanted to try. Also, if you have any questions, because uh, I don't know if you uh, read the FAQ that we had yesterday. Uh, it was pretty exciting. Uh, me and Alish talked about uh, some of the cool things coming into update 1.5 uh, and into exploration, into the new exploration. And Alish uh, talked to us about uh, how different aspects of the new exploration is going to work. Uh, so if you have any questions about that, I might be able to answer some of them. Probably not all of them, because still, stuff aren't finalized. Some of the things we're still working on, and we don't want to overpromise that it will work. But there's some really exciting stuff that uh, that the team is working on. But well, uh, you ha he never he never was gone completely, but he wasn't the project lead uh, for the whole time uh, because uh, we had a, a great guy Herodes uh, who came in uh, for a couple of years. Um, who really beefed up the editor, and uh, because of because of that work, uh, the editor is what it is today, and that was awesome. But Alesh really uh, was brought back into that position uh, to beef up the exploration, uh, to to put them on a on the same level. But yeah, he was always with us, uh, and he's devoted to islands. It's his brainchild, really. So, and we're so lucky to have him as well. Okay, so let's try out this new game that I've been hearing about called Feast. Uh, made by one of our residents here, Oknog. <laughs> so Oknog, she, I think she's here in the chat. Um, she was a minute ago. Um, so she can even talk us through what's, what's going on, what the, what the idea was. And uh, uh, yes, hello Oknog, she is here. So if you have any questions about the game itself that we'll now be trying... Um, you can ask Oknog right here in the chat. So, have a holiday meal, feast at Olympus, and something else I didn't have time to read because I already clicked the game because I was so excited to try it. Um, but as I understand it, uh, and I didn't even have to uh, uh, explain it myself because we have it right here. The goal of the game is to try all the food types in the game within 15 minutes, which is six in-game hours. You can only hold eight items at a time, there is a limited number of each dish, and the NPCs are also hungry. Okay. Okay, that's cool. So it's still in beta. Yeah, yeah, it's still a work in progress. Uh, but there's already three different arenas, <laughs> meal arenas. We've got the holiday meal, uh, we've got the feast at Olympus, and we've got the castle feast. I'm, I'm really interested in feast at Olympus and castle feast. I'm definitely going to be trying one of those. Which one would you like to see more? Um, the castle or Olympus? Of course, Olympus being the uh, place of the gods. Um, so I'm sure they would have an excellent key feast. But castle feasts, uh, I think, were always quite fun, right? Because Olympus, obviously. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go Olympus. Let's see if Zeus is in, in the house. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, I like how it's its like a snowy environment. That's so cool. Oh, oh, okay. And we've got Artemis. We have Poseidon, of course, the, the ruler of the seas. And one of the three brothers, right? Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Um, oh, clouds. <laughs> yes, of course, it's clouds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't... Yeah, it's obvious it's clouds right now <laughs> when you pointed it out, not not hills. We've got Ares, we have um, Zeus himself, I would presume. I can't quite... Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. We have to dress like Zeus. Yeah, look at us. Cool. And I guess this would be Athena. Yeah, yeah, it's Athena. She's got a book because she is the, um, the goddess of wisdom. Uh, wisdom? And is she a goddess of... Anything else? I think it's wisdom, right? Artemis is the god of hunt, of the hunt, yeah. We've got Apollo, uh, the god of the sun. And we've got Demeter. Demeter is the goddess of um, the harvest, right? Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, wisdom, wisdom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and we've got the feast. So let's eat. We've got the pizza slice. We've got the wild melon piece. We've got giadzi, mushroom stew, uh, popcorn, flour, uh, roasted rabbit meat. Okay, and now let's quickly eat. Oh, zero points? How, how, how did I get zero points? Oh, I have to press M to start the meal. <laughs> okay, that's good. Right, let's go. Eat the melon. One point. Are we winning? I'm sure we were. <laughs> Aphrodite, you <ew>, fish. <laughs> that's fine. I have to eat this potato. Who's that saying it? Is it Dionysus? He's the god of wine, right? So he's, he should be right at home. Oh, no. And we're at 1%. We can't, we can't eat more. So now we have to somehow work off uh, the food. I wonder how we do that. I guess just running around will help us. <laughs> Loosen off. Oh my god, I can fly. I didn't know I could fly. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, let's eat that roasted chicken. A uh, rabbit meat, I mean. Okay, so let's eat some more. Oh, no, I'm now a Poseidon. No, no, Demeter. No, I want food, not, not your clothes. <laughs> I wonder. I, because you have to also, like, uh, probably um, figure out what you already ate. Why, how am I dressed? What, what, whose dress did I take? <laughs> um... Fly to work up your appetite. Oh, Zeus has potions for me. Oh, hello, Zeus. Where are you, man? Trade, yes, please. So I can get his steel harpoon. Um, ask for item, yes. Oh, but it's very, very expensive. Um, your suit. Yeah, I know. I, whose suit is that? It's Aphrodite's. Yeah, well, obviously. Yeah, let's let's get out of this one. Um, so I guess I have to, like, give him give him enough food. Or what, what does he want to do? You need more clothes. <laughs> uh, so I can then trade him the clothes. I'm not God of Love. Oh, probably not, no. God of not really being able to jump anywhere. Akai Berries. I can sell him Akai Berries. But nothing really else. I just lost them. How did I lose them? What? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> If you take too many clothes, they all drop. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take two two setups of clothes and see if that's going to be... Oh, okay. Right, I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I ain't got it. Okay, let's get all these lovely potions. Nice. And so these are the hunger potions. So we can drink these and immediately get our appetite back. Okay, we lost a lot of time, so let's get back to eating. Oh, Peter took a lot out of us. Oh no, I'm, I'm back as Aphrodite. See, it's, it's meant to be. It's just meant to be. Okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's eat, let's eat. Let's keep eating. I think you have to just keep eating all the time. Um, let's drink. Let's eat. This is lots of multitasking that I'm not good at. Let's let's get more uh, prunella leaves. Let's um, uh, potato. Yes, let's let's eat a potato. Uh, did we eat this? No, pineapple slice. We didn't have a pineapple slice yet. I wonder how we're doing. I'm sure not well. We only have four hours left, which sounds a lot, but not in this game. <laughs> let's drink some more. I think, did we just drink our last hunger potion? Has that really went so so fast? P will show us the score. Oh, that's cool. And you can also throw food. Um, yeah, let's, let's throw food. 
How can we throw T? Oh, I have to hit something. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, let's throw a toadstool. <laughs> okay. I really want to hit someone with this. Did I hit him? <laughs> I think so. Make it where if they eat the wrong thing, something spoiled, the appetite bar goes down over time, making it harder. Oh, that would be cool. That'd be very cool. Let's have a look at the score. Major General, I'm doing uh, not well yet, but I guess after we finish, uh, my score will go up on the board. So, Oknog, will this also be multiplayer, or are you doing it like a high score single player type thing? What's the What's the idea there? Also, it seems that is it possible to eat the the same thing twice for for which I don't get a point afterwards? It seems like it, right? Single player with leaderboard, but that's cool. I, I like uh, because that's quite a lot of multiplayer games in islands already, and it's nice to have those single player experiences, right? Okay. Oh, you can't go into the inventory in this. This is fun, uh, but I need. More potions, man. He doesn't have any more potions. Quick, fly around, fly around. <laughs> I, f I love flying around. Oh, nice. There's even... Oh, and I'm back. <laughs> this tells you not to wander so far. Oh, that's fun. But yeah, there's like a world underneath of us as well. Little Greeks running around down there. Oh, a game for Thanksgiving. Yes, that's true. This is a very Thanksgiving game. And I'm feeling full already. I'm not even really eating. Um, I think we haven't had a burger yet, right? For all the holidays, yeah. and Which is good. You could just like uh, always make an update and just add another holiday in. And, and like put challenges into each one, like different challenges and different ways to get the potions. But I'm sure, I think uh, I saw a video on your, um, about the the family one. And there was a different way to get um, get the potion there, right? Than, than in this one. I'm not hungry anymore. Well, fly around, man. Christmas, we already, uh, is the castle one like Christmassy or is the family one Christmassy? Or is this one Christmassy? <laughs> Let's eat some fries. Maybe though, I'd say 15 minutes is slightly a lot. Like of game time, um, maybe if you could have it because it, it, it's then not so like uh, hectic to get as much stuff. Uh, like when you have less time, maybe if it was five minutes, it would be more, more like oh no 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 quick quick let's get get let's get something more in. Like this, I get, think you get a bit too comfortable. <laughs> Yay! I got to eat a raspberries. <laughs> Okay, let's try and eat some more. Let's have some tea. A cup of tea. Weird that I'm eating a cup of tea, but there you go. Try to eat every item. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get it. But for, for the leaderboards even, it might be better if they had less time. But no, hey, it's not my game, right? But just a feeling I had so far out of it. But it's really cool. I really love it. And I love the setting as well. Maybe these guys could be doing a bit a bit more emotes, so they're not standing around so statically. I see that they're doing them, and I love how they're saying like little things. It feels like you're really part of a uh, of a feast, even though everyone else is being civilized, just like uh, standing at their at their platter while you're flying around like a complete hot and tot. <laughs> Oh, Santa's workshop is ready, but needs a server. 
Uh, but does it need a server? You can you can just up upload it and uh, anyone can play it, or or do you want it to have uh, saving I in it? Oh no, I'm, I'm waving. I need to eat. Okay, let's let's fly around a bit again. Let's get some food. <laughs> and changing the the clothes while you're running around is quite funny as well. I wonder what I didn't have yet. Uh, a green coconut drink, maybe. A loosened belt. Let's try and loosen our belt. Oh, that's good. That helps a lot. <laughs> Waving Macy hungry. <laughs> Burn those carbs. <laughs> Is there, is there a limit to how many times you can loosen your belt, Oknog? <laughs> yeah, I thought waving probably didn't do anything. <laughs> belt is three times. I just <laughs> used it the third time. Um, well, then you have no belt. <laughs> uh, I guess... If you need world saving, though, as long as it's protected, um, you should be fine with just uploading it, right? If not, we can we can chat about this later uh, on Discord uh, on Monday, and maybe I can get someone from QA to help out because I think you don't like you wouldn't you're not supposed to need a server for for anything really in islands. Uh, everything is supposed to be able to do. Uh, without it. I wonder what my score is going to be. Oh, no, I'm at Aphrodite's again. Aphrodite's with... De what's her name? Demetr uh, Demeter's uh, hat. <laughs> Someone need to host a server, but I can make it work. I'm just delaying it a bit. Christmas is a bit far off. Sure, sure, but uh, it's always nice to test it, right? But, but yeah, I think we can definitely figure out how to uh, put it up without you needing a server. I love the flying animation. Naru had it in his Valentine game, and that was even a <laughs> very similar clothes situation as well. Um, but he's already, uh, Naru's already working on a, a, cr a Christmas game. Uh, because also, yes, uh, one thing I did want to mention uh, is your last chance to try out, um, uh, to go into Playlands uh, to see the Halloween uh, theme that we got going because we'll be putting it down on Monday. So if you haven't enjoyed Halloween yet on in Playlands, uh, you can go and visit it now. Uh, but uh, we will be keeping the game, the maze game, because it's so awesome. We played it last time and it's so much fun. Uh, so definitely check out the maze game, uh, which will be staying put, but it is just so much fun that you, you got you gotta play it. You gotta play it, right? Okay. Oh, did it end? Or did just like everyone already eat everything? Oh, it's dessert. It's dessert, right? Dessert time. One hour left. Oh no! Quick, let's eat all the dessert. Dessert takes up loads of space. We should have kept some of that potion or the belt use for late for the late game, right? That's the, that's the strategy you should go with, because then you you got this whole dessert table and you won't be even able you won't be able to try it all out. Double points for dessert as well, and we're full. That's not smart from us. We should have kept our belts loosened for dessert. And see, it teaches you something for, uh, in life as well. You should always keep a bit of space for dessert. Uh, Easter bread, festive sweets, a gingerbread cookie. Yes, eat it, eat it. Only, only half an hour to go. That's like, uh, what is that? Like half, a minute, two minutes maybe? We have the festive, festive. Okay, fly around, fly around. Come on, we can get one more chocolate egg into us. One more chocolate egg. Can we get the lamb in? 
No, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. We did. We did. Uh, can we get the lollipop in? Okay. Lollipop. And rabbit. Eat the rabbit. Yes. A bit more time. Is it really? Dessert is served first? That's a novel idea. Oh, and we're finished. Uh, this round, 56 points. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad, I think. Uh, 35 eaten times 2. And 10 dessert eaten. And 1 item thrown. Oh, yeah, that's true. We, we did hit Apollo with a cake of some sort <laughs> so that's fun I, I really like that knock knock uh, it's such a great idea and i love how it will be able to be updated later on but yeah i i think i don't know but that's just my personal preference i, I probably prefer it to be shorter than quarter of an hour maybe five five minutes would be a bad ideal um so you could play more rounds and see if you get better it's f 15 minutes is quite a lot long time uh, and then you might not feel to give it another round because that, then you're already looking at half an hour. But if it was a five minute, like bite sized games, you said, okay, okay, let's, I'll do better this time. And another five minutes, okay, no, no, I can, I can top that high score. Yeah, but that's really cool. I'm really, really enjoying this one. And uh, I'll have to check out the castle one as well. I saw the family one, which was pretty cool. That was like the Thanksgiving themed one. Uh, but the castle one looks really cool as well. Right. And that's it for today. That's all we have lined up. We had Lockford uh, Horror Part 2, uh, which was loads of fun. Um, we tried out the RPG puzzle, um, the Guardian Spirit, that's called. Uh, so you can check that one out as well. And that's really cool. And I think it's going to be really cool when it gets implemented into the whole game. It really looks really good. And Feast, which is loads of fun, little quirk, little game, uh, trying to get a high score for eating as much stuff as possible. And there's three different arenas to choose from. You've got the festive, um, um, uh, what was it called? Thanksgiving dinner one. Uh, you've got uh, Olympus, Mount Olympus, and a medieval castle to eat your feast at. So also check that one out. We've got it on our Twitter and our Facebook. We've got the links uh, if you want to have a look at them. And uh, you can also just find them on the workshop uh, on, what is it, islands.play.com? I think so. Or is it islands.com slash play? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So yeah, definitely visit there and visit our forums to see the FAQ if you haven't, because there's some really exciting stuff happening in exploration. And if you have any more questions about exploration, uh, ask them there and uh, I'll get Alesh or myself, if I know the answer, uh, to answer you. And uh, that's it for today, really. So if there's any more questions, agree. Being able to quickly play next round will make it more vicious. Uh, well, not vicious, but I think, yeah, I think exciting. I think just exciting. But it's such a good game, Oknog. I really love it. It's a really good idea. Cool. Okay. So I think we'll end it in here for today. Uh, but tune in again next week uh, on Friday, where we're going to be going through some more games. And maybe I'll think of something else we could do also. Uh, just to uh, shake it up a bit. Right, and that's it for today. So, have fun, but most importantly, stay classy, Islanders. <laughs>